this point in time, the CPU right here is a bit over 11 years old, making it more or less obsolete in today's world. It was originally released to compete against Intel's first generation i3 and i5s, and it did okay in terms of overall performance back in the day, at least much better than AMD's later released FX series. But many years have passed since the original purpose of this CPU was fulfilled, so today's question is if it has still some power left to compete against some of the most modern releases, and give support to a relatively modern GPU. Speaking of the GPU, the RX 550 is the main companion of the X4 640 for today, an entry-level card from 2017 featuring 2 gigs of GDDR5 VRAM and full DirectX 12 support, which can be really helpful when it comes to running the more recent releases. Even though being an entry-level card, it will be enough when it comes to showing the power of the X4 640 gaming-wise. So after the introduction to the main parts of the configuration, here is the rest of today's system. And now, without further ado, let's get to some benchmarks. Oh, <laughs> 
as it was expected, an 11-year-old CPU can't really hold up against some of the most modern releases of today, being the main bottleneck for the GPU in most of the games, with the RX 550 having to offer much more than we saw here. Another not so obvious reason this CPU is obsolete nowadays is the lack of any modern instruction sets, like SSC 4.1, which are crucial to run many modern games. At the end, I can only say that it was interesting to test out a piece of history, as this was from a time where quad cores were the main thing for most gamers. But nowadays, we have moved way beyond having just 4 cores in our CPUs. So to conclude everything we saw today, I would not really recommend to get any of these older AMD quad cores, as you will be really better off just getting a second gen i3 or i5. Those have aged quite a lot better, as you can check out in the video on the upper right corner. Thank you very much for joining me on this benchmark. I hope I will see you in my next one as well.